I admit it. I caved to the mom pressure of, type of Russian math. I'm not really sure how it happened. It started with whispers of the neighbor's highly capable twin girls being enrolled. When I heard about what they were up to, I turned to an expert to find out what was going on. I whipped out my iPhone and asked Siri, what is Russian math? <laughs> my pseudo tiger mom radar went up and I started to pay closer attention to the conversations at school drop off. Moms were talking in code about a Russian school that was being housed in an otherwise deserted office complex. And they were frantic in the carpool line on Tuesdays as their kids raced to them with protractors and number two pencils overflowing out of their backpacks. We were obviously missing out on something very important. <laughs> so I embarked on a full-blown investigation. I found the Russian math school in the next town over and immediately called to make an appointment for my little prodigy. When they told me it would be three, a three-month wait for the next opening, I insisted, this is an emergency. <laughs> we are halfway through kindergarten, and I am only now finding out about Russian math. <laughs> She's already six months behind. We can't afford to miss one more day. I pleaded, and they scheduled us for testing the next evening. It was the middle of a blizzard, and my poor baby girl had strep throat, but that wasn't going to stop us. <laughs> I threw the SUV in snow mode and skidded my way over to the school while my daughter slipped in and out of a feverish sleep. We pulled up for our 8 o'clock appointment and were greeted by a tall woman whose height was accentuated by stiletto heels. She was dripping in jewelry and oozing with perfume. Her eyes, heavy with smoky black liner, made her look like an exhibit in the exotic creature section of a zoo. <laughs> Welcome, <laughs> she said through a thick accent. We followed her into the office where posters announced, the road to Harvard begins here. <laughs> My daughter sits at a desk and stiletto lady thumbs through a giant workbook. The pressure is on. I'm sweating through my thermal underwear. She takes a page from the book, places it in front of my daughter, and points with her long polished nails. We have an apple and a pear and a plum. Tell me, which one is missing in the next box? My daughter looks back at me. I can tell she is shitting in her pants. <laughs> I am too. I give her the evil eye and look away. She gazes around the room and back to me again. I can hear the second hand ticking on the giant wall clock. I want to blurt out, it's the pear. The hell is wrong with you? It's so obvious, it's the goddamn pear. <laughs> I'm red with hives. I know what this woman is thinking. Oh, so you thought your daughter was a genius. I can hear her Russian cackling behind her steely eyes. An hour later, she tells me that, this, that with some tutoring and summer school, my daughter might be able to catch up, but we won't be able to determine that until next year. She hands me a folder filled with information on how to register online and where to find a tutor. We get in the car, and I yell, what was that? What the hell was going on in there? You knew it was the pair. I mean, really, why were you playing dumb like that? Jesus Christ, we just blew our only chance at Russian math school. <laughs> she starts crying from behind her bald fists, I hear her say, I don't want to go to Russian math school. <laughs> I get a hold of myself. It's 9 o'clock on a school night, negative 2 degrees outside, and she's sick. Maybe I shouldn't be so hard on her. <laughs> Sweetie, why don't you want to go to R Russian math school, I ask. She says, why do I have to go to Russian math school when I have American math in my own school? It's a good point. <laughs> and what is Russian math anyway? That lady was really scary and she smelled weird. It's another good point. <laughs> well, I don't really know what Russian math is. We didn't have all this fancy stuff when I was a kid. The only thing I know is that if you don't take Russian math, you are not going to Harvard. <laughs> I don't want to go to Harvard, Mommy. <laughs> you don't? All the kids in your class are taking Russian math and they will be going to Harvard. 
I don't care, she says. You don't care if you're the only kid from your class not going to Harvard? Okay. If you really don't care and you feel like Russian math is too scary and you just want to stay home and go to community college, that's fine. <laughs> but you need to make that decision right now. <laughs> because time is running out. And if I don't register for, your, for that class tonight, there will be no second chance. Get it? Are you clear that you're choosing to live with me forever and most likely in the basement? <laughs> this is your decision, and you are going to have to live with it. I don't want you coming to me in 17 years saying, all my friends are in Ivy League and I'm not. You'll have to tell that to your therapist. Okay? Okay, mommy. Fine. I'm glad we settled that. I'm doing fist pumps in my head, thinking about the money we were going to save on the tutors and classes, 13 years of Russian math, because I can't help her with that shit. That's a college tuition right there. Granted, probably a junior college, and she will have to commute from home, but she already said she wanted to live at home with me forever, so score. <laughs> the truth is, now I'm nervous that she's never going to go away to college. I'm having nightmares about her leaving out the basement door to walk to work at Panera Bread. <laughs> I blame it on all these lunatic moms running around in hysterics over Russian math. And it's not just math. These moms tell each other, oh, I'm just doing the basics like swim because it's a life skill and we live on our boat every summer. And you know, soccer, just to keep the kids active, the usual stuff. They're lying. I saw them all down there at the Russian math school and their kids were speaking Mandarin to each other. <laughs> the whole fucking family is suddenly speaking Mandarin. <laughs> then there's Suzuki violin and the Olympic swim team. It's the never-ending race for the gold ring. And nobody tells you what they are going to do because they don't want the competition. Well... We don't want to compete with you. We are just fine sitting on the sidelines. Sometimes the sidelines are more fun. I don't know what the future holds for my daughter. She might be Harvard roommates with your little Einstein, or she might supply me with discounted bread in my old age. <laughs> it's not my daughter's lack of Russian math that really scares me. It's the Russian roulette of life and the futility of trying so damn hard to stack the odds. Thank you.